going on. So it's time for me to do a channel update here. Um, I've actually been waiting to do one of these, and uh, the reason was is because, you know, I've kind of been absent this last really few weeks. Um, I did upload a lot of the Hitman footage. You guys have been probably seeing just tons of Hitman beta footage on the channel. And uh, the reason for that was just because I loved the game so much. I loved playing the beta, so I recorded like a ton of videos. I didn't really want all those videos to go to waste, and I did think that they were good videos. Um, but I basically have two more videos to upload that are going to be uploaded after this channel update. They're just me playing through the missions again, but this time guns blazing um, with no stealth whatsoever and killing every single person in the entire level. I mean, seeing, seeing Agent 47 mow down innocent civilians is a very uncomfortable and crazy sight to behold. So if you want to see that, those videos are going to be uploaded uh, throughout the course of this week. Uh, so it isn't so boring and things like that. But anyway, I do have some topics here I do want to discuss about the cool stuff that is uh, coming up this month. This month is huge. If you're a Mirror's Edge fan, I'm already telling you, you got to watch this channel update. There is something really awesome happening towards the end of this month, all right? So, quick recap before we get started, all right? Month of February um, was a little bit less productive than I really wanted it to be. All right, I got the games, right? We play, I played the games that released, all except Street Fighter V, which I decided to hold off to until the summer of this year. Reason was is because, really, I think everyone knows the issue with Street Fighter V, the lack of content. And for someone like me who isn't like a big fighting game player, I just play the games just for fun, really. Don't really want the competitive aspect. It doesn't make sense for me to purchase the game outright at this point in time, nor is it financially responsible with all the stuff that's going on in my life. So I'm going to be holding that off until the summer of 2016 when I do get the game. I'm going to be playing it and uh, maybe streaming it if I have time, all right? So I did that. I also played Unravel. I thought it was a good game. I really enjoyed that. And I also did Firewatch, and I thought that was a good game and really enjoyed that. Now, there are other stuff that came out uh, this past month, and that was Gravity Rush Remastered, which I'm currently still playing through. Uh, I just haven't really had a lot of time to put into the game. From what I can tell, I'm about halfway through the game, so I need to, I'm still going to be playing, you know, a good significant portion more to get to the end of it. And I also have Dying Light, the following expansion, installed on my PS4 hard drive. I haven't even started that yet, so um, I'm kind of behind on stuff. I'm already generating a backlog for this year. Hopefully, though, I'll get it under control. Um, I'm just trying to find you know, a good time to, to sit down. It's, it's, it's a matter of me having enough time to sit down and play games, and also me feeling up to playing games considering everything that's going on, which I already talked about in the previous channel update, all right? So let's talk about this month. This month is a significant month for me because there's a lot of stuff happening in my personal life, and then there's a lot of stuff that uh, is gonna be happening here on YouTube, all right? So let's talk about the game releases, all right? Today, Tuesday, that I'm uploading this, March 1st, uh, Far Cry Primal released for the PC. It was delayed a week for some reason on the PC. I don't know why, um, but for whatever reason, they thought it would be better to release the game a week later. Now, I requested a review copy for Far Cry Primal, but I did that yesterday, so to be honest, I don't even know if they're going to get back to me. I, it may be too late, all right? Um, but... I do have an interest in playing the game just because it's Far Cry, you know, and I just want, I just want to test it out. Um, at, at the very least, that may be a game I'm going to hold out probably during the summer, because uh, I don't have a direct, you know, interest or um, motivation to go and play it right away. You know, it, it's Far Cry. I'd much rather spend my time with Gravity Rush Remastered and Dying Light the following that I have on my backlog rather than play Far Cry Primal. Um, Alright, so we have that released, that, that released today, excuse me. Next week, we have Tom Clancy's The Division. You guys already know, I played the beta, played the alpha, wasn't even interested, you know? I, I, it, it's just not a game, it, it, it's like a, it's another destiny for me, you know? It's gonna be fun if you have friends, but in terms of the single player experience, I'm expecting something very shallow, all right? The only saving grace for this game, for me personally, and I think a lot of other people who, who you know, are still on the fence about it, is its story. And considering it's an MMO type style game, I really think that the story is going to be taking a back seat since they're going to be more focused on the social abilities and co-op missions rather than com um, conveying a really interesting and emotional narrative. So uh, I'm going to be getting Tom Clancy's The Division. I actually requested a review code for that and uh, I have yet to hear back from them so we'll wait and see. You know, I may get one, I may not. If I do get one, you guys will see some videos on that, probably just the 4K impressions and things like that. And I hope to God that they fix the performance and SLI usage from the beta. It was awful. All right. Hitman. Um, this is the you know episodic new reboot of the franchise. You guys know I'm really, really looking forward to this. I requested a review copy of that as well. Why am I requesting all these review copies? Because I need to really watch my money 
that I'm spending at the moment, all right? But the good news is, is I actually just got an email back from the PR guy at Square Enix today, and he filled out, he, he sent me a link to fill out a form to request a review copy officially. So I don't know if I got one. I, I can't say that I got one yet, but I'm in the list of people who are con being considered for a review copy of um, Hitman 2016. So hopefully I get that because that's a game I'm really looking forward to playing. I'm still I think I'm still gonna be able to get the game on release, but I'm gonna have to do some I'm, I'm gonna have to do something stupid to be honest. I might have to trade in some games or or do something or or hopefully by that time I may have some money. It depends. Um, the last game releasing towards the end of this month is one that I've personally been waiting for, and that's the indie game Adrift. All right, Adrift is basically like Gravity, the movie, the game, basically the, the game based off the movie. That's basically what Adrift looks like. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, that is a VR game, but it, you can play it without a VR headset. Um, but I'm I'm just really looking forward to it again because I, I I think the graphics look really amazing. The the atmosphere looks really amazing, and hopefully it can really nail down what Gravity, the movie Gravity did so well and that was like really just making you just in shock the whole experience through. Um, so I'm really really looking forward to the game, really interested in getting one. Uh, I can I can theoretically contact Adam Orth who is the creative director and head of the studio. I can theoretically contact him and ask him for a code but I may uh, I, I may I may get you know I may actually buy the game outright or uh, maybe I'll see if I can request a review code I'm not sure. There's also another game that released actually today, um, Alakine's Gun. This is a very, <laughs> this is a very like low budget hit. It's like the it's like the Hitman game but for people who, it's a really low budget Hitman game. Let's just say it at that. It's a really low budget Hitman game, um, but it takes place during like the Cold War era. Uh, the graphics look bad. Um, but I'm actually interested in playing the game just because it's a stealth game and it really reminds you of Hitman, but like in the Cold War era. So I actually may be doing that. I, I may be getting the game and, uh, we'll, we'll have to see. I actually, I don't know how much it costs. If it's like a discounted price, I may just get it anyway. All right. So we'll see. All right. Um, so like I mentioned, I'm, all, I'm still playing Gravity Rush Remastered. I want to get through that. And then I have Dying Light the following next. And then if I don't get the division, then I'm just going to move on to Hitman uh, and then uh, a drift, definitely. The a Hitman and the Drift are the two must-haves of this month for me so far. So those are the games I'm definitely going to be making an effort to get. All right. The other thing that's happening at the end of this month is something I don't know if a lot of people actually remembered that what that was happening, but the Final Fantasy 15 release event. Well, guess what? I actually have tickets to go and attend the event. I had tickets for Jake and I to go and attend the event together. I'm not sure if we're going. And the reason I say I'm not sure is even though that we have tickets, I'm going to have to check with Jacob if he wants to go. If he wants to go, then we'll go. If he doesn't want to go, then you know I'm not going to make a big deal about it. It's Final Fantasy, even though it was the most anticipated game for me of this year. I'm really looking forward to it based off what I played in the demo. Um, I'm not going to make a big deal about going to the thing because uh, it's, it's a free event. It didn't cost us anything to get tickets. Um, but it might be cool to go to, but there's going to be like a bunch of Final Fantasy, like, you know... Uh, uh, fans there, and, and I'm just kind of sitting here as like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to Final Fantasy 15. was never really into the series, you know, but looking forward to Final Fantasy 15. So I may be going there. I may not be going there. It's really dependent on what Jake wants. If Jake wants to go there, then fine. I'll do my best to record footage of us going there. We'll see, all right? But it depends on what Jake wants, really. I'm not going to make a big deal about it, but I do have tickets to attend if we choose to go, all right? Um... Also, I do want to talk about this really quickly. I organized the channel significantly. Like, over the past four or five days, I went through every single one of my videos, over 2,000 videos, and I organized each and every... I, I even went as far as renaming some of them to a more, you know, standard, more uh, recognizable name than I did before. Um, but I reorganized everything. In fact, if you go on the channel right now, if you go into, into the playlist tab, you'll see tons of playlists that are actually devoted to games this time around. So instead of just being, okay, gameplay impressions, where you have all of my gameplay impressions, you'll be like, huh... I'm a, uh, Mirror's Edge, you know, uh, I really want to see all this Mirror's Edge content. Well, you can see a Mirror's Edge 2008 playlist of all the videos I did for Mirror's Edge 2008, and you can even see a Mirror's Edge Catalyst playlist, where there's all the videos I did so far for Mirror's Edge Catalyst. There's a Hitman 2016 playlist in there, there's a Deus Ex Human Revolution 
playlist and Mankind Divided playlist. I mean, there, there's tons of playlists in there that you can choose, like Test Drive Unlimited 2, you know, uh, remember when I recorded that. So there's tons of playlists in there that you guys can choose if you're interested in a particular game um, or a particular type of videos. They're all in there, all right? I undoubtedly may have missed a few, maybe, maybe if, maybe, I, I fully expect that some of the videos are going to be a little bit disorganized, where you'll have, like, a playthrough of, like, my Deus Ex playthrough, for example, and you'll see, like, okay, there's part 61, there's part 65, 64, 63, 67, 62. You might see something like that. Just let me know, basically. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, comment on this video or message me on Twitter and just let me know, hey, you know, I noticed in the playlist that this video is out of order. Can you fix that? And I'll go ahead and fix it. It shouldn't take that long. But just the channel is significantly much more organized this time around. Like, you guys have access to playlists that are dependent on games rather than the category of the type of video it is. All right, so hopefully that's much better. Hopefully you guys appreciate that. Definitely leverage it and use it, and uh, hope you can watch the content more easily now, all right? Um, second to last thing I want to talk about is I actually got an upgrade. Apparently I got an upgrade with Machinima. Um, I'm not making more money off of YouTube, but they upgraded my status with them. What this basically means is that now I have a direct contact with the company. Um, Machinima is my partner network, okay, uh, but I, my contract with them ends in October and I'm, I am actually looking to um, get, get with a different partner this time around when they can offer me more benefits. So I messaged, uh, so, the, so the lady who messaged me um, was basically just saying, hey, you know, this, you have a direct contact, I'm your personal contact, I can help you in any way you, you want and we can help, help you with promotions and offers and things like that. So I, I messaged her and I said, alright, well, I'm, I'm was really for the past three years I've been trying to get into E3 and I want to get into the event and stuff do you guys think that you can get me into the event give me two tickets to go into the event from myself and a videographer which is Jake so um, I haven't heard it back from her but if she can this may actually get me a somewhat guaranteed spot into E3 this month towards the middle of this month towards the end of this month I'm gonna be getting all of my E3 stuff ready so I'm gonna be contacting companies about the press conference Bethesda's holding another press conference I'm super happy about that we're probably gonna see Dishonored 2 gameplay this Bethesda's press conference was the most enjoyable last year just because of the way that they did it you went to the Dolby theater you know which is like where where, where the Oscars were held and things like that and then they you um, uh, they had free popcorn and free soda, and they give you bands, and they give you all this cool stuff after. I mean, like, I'm Bethesda's press conference was amazing, in my opinion. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully I can get into that. EA is doing something different this year, keep in mind. They have, like, an open event kind of thing where you can just go even if you're not attending E3. So uh, I'm going to try and get a guaranteed access to that event, and uh, it's kind of like an E3, but just EA's games, but access to the public, which is pretty cool. Ubisoft, I've been trying to get into their press conferences, I'm going to be contacted. Every single time I've contacted them, they've always said, oh, our list is full. So this is, this is why I'm getting it done early, all right? I'm going to be contacting them towards the end of this month. I'm saying, hey, I wanted to get my foot in the door early. I'm really interested in attending your press conference. Can I get some tickets, all right? So I'm going to, have to, I'm going to be doing that. And then PlayStation, the hardest part about getting to Sony's press conference is just getting a contact with the Sony PR. It was, it was such a challenge last year to get an actual contact for the Sony PR and for some reason um, I was actually talking with the Broken Games HD and uh, he was saying that you know he's having trouble too and for some reason we both use extranet websites um, Sony doesn't accept or check any registrations for their extranet websites um, which extranet if you don't know is basically a site that gives you all the contact information for everyone in the company and it's basically like a PR. It's basically like a media person's dream. You have contact to every single person in the company. You have assets to games and things like that. It's it's an amazing it's an amazing website. But you have to register for it, and then the company has to approve your registration. And I registered with Sony's last year. They never approved mine. I just re-registered um, yesterday. I'm trying to get in there. All right. For some reason, Sony doesn't check their extranet website. All right. We're gonna have to see. Uh, but hopefully, cross your fingers for, for that. Right? I'm going to try and get some contact with them. Uh, Microsoft shouldn't be an issue. I've been going to them for the past three years, so I fully expect I get to go with them for this year as well. All right. Now, last thing. All right, let's talk about Mirror's Edge. All right. Um, you guys may have recalled about a year ago or so, around a year ago, I expressed interest in doing a video series that I normally do for games that I'm excited for, um, or sequels that I'm excited to come out for, and that's my preparing for series, alright? 
I did preparing for um, Far Cry 4 uh, by playing Far Cry 3 co-op. I did preparing for Splinter Cell Blacklist by playing the Splinter Cell Conviction co-op. And now it's time to prepare for Mirror's Edge Catalyst. So I've been wanting, I wanted to actually do this over the winter, all right? And the reason I wasn't able to do it over the winter is just because I got so inundated with all the game releases going on. Um, I had a big backlog and I had to do the video game awards, so I just didn't have any time, frankly, to sit down. Plus we had CES as well, so I didn't have any time to sit down and play Mirror's Edge and do those videos for you guys. However, at the end of this month, it's looking pretty shallow, pretty dry, with only a drift really releasing, and I don't expect that to be a significantly long game, and I'm waiting to hold off on that game for a few days while I'm done recording these videos. Uh, but I figure it's the best time. It's about two months away from the release of Mirror's Edge Catalyst when it comes out at the end of May, and uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. So what am I going to be doing exactly? All right. Um, so this is basically what my video series is going to be. All right. I have yet to decide whether or not I'm going to be streaming this. It depends. You guys have to let me know in the comments if you want me to stream it. If I stream it, it may be harder to do in terms of me recording it and me uploading it. Because sure, I can just upload a three-hour stream, you know, but I want to edit the parts nicely and put them out there. I, either I can stream it and they can be big, large, really long videos, or I can do it offline and you guys can get like half an hour videos every day or something like that, all right? So let me know which format you, you want. But basically, this is preparing for Mirror's Edge Catalyst, all right? It's a full playthrough of the original Mirror's Edge, done on PC, of course. Um, by this time, I don't know if I'm going to have my monitor, my, my X34 Predator and stuff. It depends really, really on if I get the monitor or not. But um, it's a full playthrough of Mirror's Edge Catalyst on PC. It's going to be a full playthrough of all the time trials, in the entire, including DLC, from the entire game, alright? I'm not going to be trying to break my, my records on there, but I'm just going to play through them once and stuff like that, alright? And by the way, my playthrough of Mirror's Edge will consist of finding all the hidden bags and things like that, alright? On top of that, it's a full playthrough of modded levels as well. So one of the great things about being on PC is, for those of you guys who don't have Mirror's Edge on PC, there's been a pretty decent community back in the day that actually created modded levels and custom levels for the game, Mirror's Edge. And uh, kind of funny, about a year ago, I already downloaded all of the all of the modded levels that I wanted to do for the original Mirror's Edge. I have them actually downloaded on a file in my computer right here, and uh, they're all ready to go. I just have to basically unpack the files and, and drag the files over to the main you know configuration files of Mirror's Edge, and I'm pretty pretty much ready to go. It's really easy. Um, so I'm really excited to do this. I mean, like a full playthrough with live commentary, face cam, and then on top of that all the time trial sections, and then on top of that, all the modded levels for the game. So this is going to be a really long, really significant, significantly huge um, playlist to me basically preparing for Mirror's Edge Catalyst. This is going to be the final send-off to Mirror's Edge just before Catalyst comes out. Keep in mind that we also have the Mirror's Edge Catalyst beta. I don't know when that is. I, I would expect them to do it at the end of this month, to be completely honest with you, if they really want to do a beta. You know, if it's a, really a beta... Uh, but it may be in April, uh, and the thing is, they're kind of running out of time. They announced the beta pretty late. They only have a few months, and so they pretty much need to get the beta out there, you know? So I'm really, you know, I'm kind of like, okay, when's this beta going to happen? So hopefully it happens after the fact that I do the Mirror's Edge, preparing for Mirror's Edge Catalyst playlist. Um, that would be nice, but again, they kind of need to get it out there. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that, all right? It's going to be a jam-packed month. I'm really excited, you know, to be recording it and uh, really uploading it and just getting you guys interested. Um, keep in mind that also this month we have kind of a, a return to form. I know a lot of people, I did a poll on Twitter, a lot of people missed unboxings. And I miss going to GameStop and doing unboxings. Here's the thing about unboxings. One, all the games I've been getting, there hasn't been a lot of physical games releasing. All the games I've been getting have been on PC, all right? Why? Because when you can get games on PC that are thirty half off on PC and you get the better version of the game, I mean, it just makes logical sense to get it on PC. Yeah, it's digital, but I'm saving a significant amount of money in doing so. So I still, I mean, I have plenty of unboxings coming up, right? I got the Uncharted 4 Libertalia Collector's Edition. Um, I got the uh, Mirror's Edge Callus Collector's Edition. I got all this stuff coming up, uh, and, and depending on you know how games do on PC, I may be getting certain games on consoles rather than PC if the PC version is just really awful. I'm kind of I'm kind of in this 
persona kind of, or, or this personality, kind of wait for the games to come out now. I haven't done this completely, but kind of wait for some games to come out now and hear whether they're good on PC or whether they're not good on PC. Some games come out, like, like Batman, you know, Arkham Knight. I mean, I just feel bad if you bought that on PC on release. That's just it, it just sucks. There's, there's something wrong right now with the gaming industry that we need to hurry up and fix it or else we're really going to kill it. But um, that's a different topic for a different time, all right? Not the time for that. But um, I, I'm just really looking forward to it. So, I, I, I mean, there's all these unboxings that I have that I want to do that are coming up that aren't necessarily games. I'm still working on getting the X34 Predator. That's the ultra-wide monitor, 100 hertz G-Sync from Acer, all right? Uh, want to get a new phone. I'm, I'm actually really interested in getting the Huawei Nexus 6P. Why not the Samsung Galaxy S7? Well, I already made a video about that. Watch my, mo my, watch my Mobile World Congress thoughts, and you guys can see what I think about all the new cell phone, um, you know, announcements and releases. But I'm getting the Huawei Nexus 6P when I can. Um, there's other stuff as well. Like, there's, there's other, like, main peripherals and stuff. I'm kind of, like, in the process of getting into into the mood where I want to kind of reorganize the room. Not not necessarily in terms of its layout, but getting like new furniture and things like that, but that may be later. So, and I'm kind of holding off on, do, on doing my room tours so I can get all that stuff situated. All right, so anyway, I just want to do this video and let you guys know what's coming up. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you're most excited for. I hope a ton of you guys who are Mirror's Edge fans like myself are really looking forward to the preparing for Mirror's Edge Catalyst at the end of this month. Follow me on Twitter, I'll let you know exactly when that will happen. I'm actually expecting it like the last, the second week or last week, the third week or the fourth week of March is probably when it will happen. It depends on um, game releases and things like that. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. I'll talk with you all later. And uh, let me know what you guys think about all the cool stuff that's coming up.